Well, another Israelite who'd been to Jerusalem told Nehemiah that the walls were in terrible shape. The Israelites had been back for almost 90 years and no one had gotten around to fixing the walls. So Nehemiah decided to do something about it. He went to King Artaxerxes and asked for permission to go back to Jerusalem. He even asked the king for all the supplies he would need to rebuild the walls. That was pretty bold. It was. King Artaxerxes could have been upset. He could have been suspicious. He could have said, no way, Jose. I need you here keeping me safe. But the Bible says God moved in Artaxerxes' heart, and he smiled on Nehemiah and gave him everything he asked for. Wow, so Nehemiah went back to Jerusalem and rebuilt the walls. Uh, did those pesky neighbors mind? You bet they did. They didn't want Jerusalem to be strong again, and strong walls make strong cities. His neighbors sent Nehemiah threatening letters, trying to get him to stop, but Nehemiah kept working. So they started gathering soldiers to attack Jerusalem and stop the work. But Nehemiah heard about the plan and stationed guards all around the workers to protect them. He had the workers keep their swords with them all the time. And they had trumpets to blow if anyone saw an enemy coming. Nehemiah asked God to give them strength to finish the huge job. And before their neighbors could do anything about it, Jerusalem's walls were done.